Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Do They Want You Back? Not do they just want you, but do they want you back? Alright, so this is going to be pile number one with the clear quartz crystal. This is going to be pile number two with the amethyst. And this is going to be pile number three with the rose quartz crystal. Alright, so you can take a moment and pause the video and meditate. And while you're doing that, or use your pendulum, or, and while you're doing that, I just want to say that please like my video if you like this kind of reading. So it really helps me out a lot. It helps like kind of to let everybody, it, it makes YouTube recommend the video to other people more. So if you could do that, that would really help me out a lot. If you would like a more private reading, you can find out how to do that in the description below. And if you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. Also, I'm going to be giving away some tarot cards for my 10,000 subscriber special. So it's called the Lens Rider Tarot. And you can look in my last live stream to see the actual tarot so I show them. Um, and if you, especially those who live in America, if you're interested in that, then you can, all you have to do is email me and tell me that you want them and I will be shipping them to you for free and the deck will be totally free. All right. So now that I've said all that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with pile number one. So let me take away pile number two and three and let's get going. Let's find out if they want you back. All right, and this is going to be pile number one with the clear quartz crystal. And let's find out if they want you back. So we have the nine of pentacles. We have the four of swords. This is focusing properly. My phone has not been focusing as well lately. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Moon in reverse. Kind of just moving it over, trying to make it so you can see it well in the camera angle. All right, and then we have the Ten of Cups. That's always a good sign. Then we have the Three of Wands. We have the Strength card. And we have the High Priestess. All right. Sorry to spend so much time trying to get them straight. All right. So do they want you back? So I see the nine of pentacles. I feel like it, that you could be an earth sign. Let me know in the comments below if you are. I feel like you're someone who really stands on your own and you have a really awesome family. I think that's something that they think about with you. Also, you really know how you're not, it's like, are you waiting for your ships to come in? You're waiting for something, but while you're, you're fine waiting, I feel like you're fine waiting for the right person. Okay. That's what I totally feel like is going on here. Cause you're just like, you know how to like to take it and not only just rest like the normal four, four of swords is, but you're just like, you're like go out and I feel like you have fun, you know? Sorry about that. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. I feel like you have fun, you know, and you're, I feel like you're fine. You're just like chilling, just waiting for the right person to come along with this eight of, of pentacles in reverse. I feeling like, see the strength card these both cards are actually indicating similar things i feel like you're not putting any work in on the situation at all with this person and you're really holding yourself back you're keeping the strength you are not letting this like get to you you're just like yeah i'm cool and then 
because I feel like you really know intuitively that this person does want you back. I feel like you, I feel like you know. I feel, that's what I'm feeling like is really happening in this reading. I think I feel like that they do want you back, and it's really heavily being indicated here with this intuition here. It's like, you know, let me know in the comments below. I feel like you, like, you know, you know, they want you back. Perhaps they've already even said something that they want you back. And you're just kind of like checking in to see if they, you know, just to see what the cards say. Gosh, let me know. I just really feel like you already know the answer to this question. All right. Well, that's all I have for pile of number one. And yeah, I do think that they want you back. I think you already know that they want you back. Because I'm really feeling like you're just somebody... They would be dumb to not want you back. I mean... But at the same time... You're like fine. You're like fine if they... Like if they didn't want you back. You're just like... It doesn't matter to you. You're like cool. So... Let me know in the comments below. Alright. If you would like a more private reading... You can see how to do that in the description below. If you like this kind of video... Please give my video a thumbs up. So I know to make more videos like it. And... If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right, I'm going to go on to pile number two. Thank you very much, pile number one. Here we are with pile number two with the amethyst. All right, pile number two, let's find out if they want you back. So we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse, which can be good. And then we have the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Magician. And we have Temperance. The Seven of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. And you might be an Earth sign. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. Man. So what do I see going on here? Do they want you back? I feel like they do with this Knight of Wands wanting to come forward. I feel like not only do they want you back, I feel like that they think that you give them like peace and balance and you make them calm with this Temperance card. And you also take a lot of burden off of them. <clears throat> That Seven of Swords is really kind of out of place. I feel like this person... Mm -hmm. Okay. It's indicating that this is not Okay, you might not be too happy about it, but this <laughs> this is indicating that um, it's indicating that maybe you are either doing something deceptive, or you have you perform unethical behavior in order to help remove this burden off of them. Let me see what else. Also, if that's not true, then you should watch that they could be the one who is doing unethical behavior. Okay? You might even do unethical behavior together. For all I know, there's all types of people out there. <laughs> I'm not judging. Okay? 
I don't know what you do. And you can leave me in the comments below. Let me know what happens. But I'm really feeling like... Um, I feel like you have the sword of truth, which is an opportunity to cut through to the truth of the matter. I feel like some of you, it could be them trying... that They have tried to deceive you in the past and that you were able to cut through to the truth and you found out that they were being deceived. They, they were deceiving you because so there's like multiple things that like it has multiple meanings. So some of you, it's going to be that you both are involved in unethical behavior or I feel like whoever this queen of pentacles is, uh, has also taken the sort of truth and has used it to cut through through this deceit and you found out the truth and with this sort of truth you're able to manifest and make yourself more balanced and also to help maybe even make a decision to possibly even maybe it was a decision to leave this person or to do something to improve your situation so you could have an easier time so, do they want you back? Yes. Should you go back with them? That is up to you. And I guess it depends on if you're both doing ethical and ethical behavior not together. But I'm feeling like most of you are not doing unethical behavior together. I'm feeling like only a couple of you might. And I don't know if you guys are going to actually tell me what you're doing in the comments below. But, yeah, I'm really feeling like for most of you, though, that there was something unethical. There was something that they did. They could have lied. They they were being deceit. They were deceiving you in some way, and you found out. All right. Well, let me know how that resonates with you. All right, pile number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you would like a more private reading, you see how to do that in the description below. And if you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right. Well, thank you very much, pile number two. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number three. All right. Pile number three. Here's your cards. And we have the Rose Quartz Crystal. Let's find out if they want you back. All right, we have the Three of Swords. Hopefully my camera can focus properly. And we have the Four of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the King of Wands. <laughs> I think you're from the other reading. This is part related to one of the other readings I had tonight. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups as well. We have the Sun in Reverse. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the tower card. All right. If you, I feel like this pile is related to a video I also did tonight called What Do They Fantasize About You? And pile number two would be your pile. You can go check it out if you want. <sighs> Maybe I should make sure I post that one before I post this one. All right. So let's see what they have. They have... <sighs> do they want you back? I feel like they do. Man, but something has happened here. All right, so I see that we have a broken heart here. Okay. And it's like... Hmm. 
they are lacking clarity, you know? About this four of wands, I feel like, what is it? Maybe it was you. Because I don't have an indicator person other than this person here. I feel like your person could be a fire sign that you're asking about. And do they want you back? Yeah, because here we have this Knight of Cups. And not only do they want you back, but they also feel like they could be victorious. But they feel like they could get you back, basically. So if they try to get you back, would you know. But I'm feeling like there would be, in order for them to get you back, something would have to happen to um, with this tower card to change things. And they do want to get you back. This is kind of reading backwards, though. They want to get you back because they want to marry you, I feel like, right here with this four of wands. But I feel like there's somebody else in the way. Indicated by this and by this Seven of Cups. I feel like you might be with another person. And then with the sun. I feel like... I feel like the, this is being hidden. It might be being hidden from you. Huh. It's like they're trying to hide it, and they're. I feel like they're trying to hide that they would be victorious. I feel like they might not be telling you they feel like this, okay? Because they're trying to hide that that they would be victorious. They that they're confident that they would get you back. I feel like they do want to though, but will they? That's the real question, right? It's not... I think this still is still going on in their head. And... I think that it could happen. But yeah, go check out that other video. Alright, well... That's all I have for you for right now, pile number three. I wish I could tell you, like, if they will actually do it. I can see they want to. They think about it, and that's all I could tell you right now. They do want you back, and they want to do things to make that happen. But now it's more like, can they get the balls to do it, you know? All right, well, thank you very much. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you would like a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. And if you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day or night. God bless. Bye-bye.